Hey, Shalom, Michael. Shalom. It's your brother Karai from GMS Miami. First and foremost, want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Chachorash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Want to give double honors to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well, top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And also want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waken up the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, and uh, this is another quick hitter and, uh, you know, just spiritually pondering on, um, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, as, uh, you know, as the mouthpiece and uh, the watchman, you know, for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and to the, for the nation of Israel, we, we understand clearly, um, you know, how formidable of a foe Esau Edom is, okay? And one of the main reasons why he's such a formidable foe is uh, because his blessing, you know, given to him was the sword which was given to him by our forefather Isaac, okay? Which, if you can receive, is Yahweh Shah, okay, in the reincarnation, you know? But um, the fact of the matter is that, um, you know, that he was, his blessing is divine, okay? And, um, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing you can do physically to combat him, okay? And that ultimately is what led us to this truth, man, okay? Because we found out the things that he was going to do and how he was going to roll on the citizens of America and, you know, the FEMA camps and so on and so forth, you know? And, um, you know, just... Just hearkening to that zeal, man, that zeal that, that the scriptures say that we have, you know, as Israelites, to uh, know that there's a God, man. And, you know, knowing that there's a God and you seeing what this devil has planned, it, it, it wasn't adding up, man. It wasn't adding up. And uh, ultimately, we turned to the scriptures, you see. And the scriptures showed us, look, all of that is part of the plan, you know. All of that is a part of the plan. And, you know, if you do the things that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh requires you to do, you will be protected in those days. You see? But the point I want to hark on is the fact that, you know, even though we prophesy, we teach, we dig, and we're, we're pretty much, you know, the real news, the real news media, okay? Um, unadulterated and 100% and, 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 and full of truth, you know? But with, even within us doing that, we still fully don't know how much of a devil Esau Edom is, man. Okay? Now, his track record speaks for itself. And the things that we do know about this devil, that's enough. That's all we need to know, you know? But pretty soon, man, he's not going he's not going to use the deception to make you think that he's, you know, some clean cut individual, okay? He's gonna fully pull those gloves off, man. You see, he's gonna fully take those gloves off and take that hat off and those horns are gonna stick out, man. You know, and a lot of these coon ass jakes, you know, that uh, look at us sideways for calling him the devil that the Bible speaks of, you know, and, um, you know, just dead set that, you know, the, the white man ain't all that. Not all white people are bad. Pretty soon, all those jakes are going to have to eat their words, man. You know, because just like with a, a, a rat or, 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 you know, or, or a cat, you back them into a corner, man. And you get close enough, you you don't play hell, man. You're going to either get bit or, or they're going to scratch your eyeballs out, you know. And that's the same thing with, uh, with Esau either, man. He's being backed into a corner, you know, and he's being backed into a corner spiritually, you know, the, the words that we speaking, okay, the most high are uh, 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 fulfilling them, okay, because they are his words, it's just that he's put the spirit on us to bring it forth to be his mouthpiece, okay, so we're consuming this devil with the words that are coming out of our mouths, okay, and then physically it's going to manifest, but now he's feeling the heat, you know, he's feeling the heat. And uh, soon he's going to lash out. He's going to lash out. And not just on the prophets, okay? Because there's legislation on the books for Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. 
So it ain't even a, necessarily about the profits, although it is. But all you jakes, you know, uh, 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 you know, are gonna be on the chopping block, man. Okay, and you're gonna find out that your ruler, the same man that stole you, the ancestors of the men that stole you, okay, from the west coast of Africa and other places scattered abroad, that same man that stole you is the goddamn devil, and he hates your guts, okay? And like I said, he's gonna he's gonna peel back the curtains. And ain't, ain't going to be no holes bar, man. Okay? Especially when they call martial law and the president is made a dictator. You know? And through the spirit, we believe it's going to be Trump. But, hey, whoever it is, they're going to put hell on you, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? And that's the point. The point is, soon, everybody is going to know that Esau Edom is the damn devil, man. Okay? But all you had to do was pick you up one of these, man. And it'll tell you, man. Okay, and obviously be taught by the right men. Okay, I'm gonna bring out this piece up, you know, and then we'll get out of here. Ain't want to make this too long, but the point is, man, hey, if you ain't if you ain't in the faith, man, if you haven't been doing what the heavenly Father told you to do, that you said you would do, okay, alluding to what Second Chronicles the 15th chapter, and then Deuteronomy 28, the covenant, you know, if you haven't been doing what the Lord said to do, man, you're fucked. And I'm going to be quite frank about it, man. Okay? Because this devil hates your guts and has always hated your guts. Going all the way back to uh, Cain and Abel, who slew his brother. You see? And then formulated again as Jacob and Esau. And now we're seeing the full manifestation of it here in these times, man. Okay? So, uh, let me get this piece up real quick. And we'll close out. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Okay? And that's speaking about the angels, the high, ho that holy host. You know? It's telling them to rejoice. Why? Because they're about to go to war. They're about to take the kingdom. Okay? From the, from the wicked ruler. You see? And then the kingdom of heaven is going to be issued. Issued in. Okay? That's why I'm saying rejoice. Okay? It says... Uh, Uh, I read it again, uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, meaning death and destruction, woe to the inhabitants, inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth, and that's sign that is speaking of a man, okay? He knoweth, he, okay? He knoweth, that he have but a short time, okay? And that's plain. That's that's ultimately him being backed in the, into a corner, okay? And like the scriptures say, him being wiser than Daniel. So he knows approximately how long, you know, he was supposed to rule and when the Heavenly Father was going to begin to visit the earth that he made and begin the process of taking him out of power, okay? But he's this spoiled, badass kid who, who actually believes in his mind that he's going to defeat God, okay? Why? Because he believes that he's God out of his the deceit of his own mind, okay? And his pride, you know? And, and, and the gifts that have been given to him has has uh, uh, destroyed his mind, you see? And, um, but knowing that, man, he's, hey, he's going to take as many people uh, with him as possible, man, okay? And that's, and that's what I'm saying, man. That's, when we're going to really find out how devilish and how wicked he is, man. Okay? And it's not necessary, but that's going to be the fact of the matter. If you're in the faith, you already know that he's a devil and he's going to roll on us. And you need the spirit of uh, uh, Yahweh Bashmi Al to protect you. Okay? But for all these other people out here, man, that are clueless, walking around, eating and drinking and marrying, the devil going to fuck you people up, man. Okay? And rightfully so. We champion that as well. You know? Since you don't want to get right, because uh, the, the, the word has gone out to all ends of the earth. Okay, so nobody can say they have not heard, you know. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that and, you know, keep it short and sweet. And uh, Lord willing, that was edifying with that. I say, Shalom.